Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. I am Maheen Farooq and today we will be talking about testicular diseases. In this lecture, we will be covering different diseases starting from the congenital diseases uh, that involves all the conditions that affects the testes of the males. So the first disease that we will be talking about is a congenital disease and it is known as cryptocardism. What cryptocardism is, which part of the male reproductive system is basically targeted in this condition, how it is diagnosed, what is the basic pathology and usually it is the disease of the testes that are not present in their normal position. What are those locations where abnormally those testes can be located and what is the surgical process that is available for the correction and whether it affects the spermatogenesis, uh, all of these answers uh, will be answered when we will be talking about the cryptocardism. The second disease that we will be talking about is abnormalities of the sexual differentiation. We will uh, talk about two major classes and where it ends. We will be seeing the chromosomal type and the single uh, stranded chromosomal type of these abnormalities and uh, usually we see clan fitness syndrome and Turner syndrome and so much more. And basically what are the problems that are seen when there is uh, abnormalities with the sexual differentiation will be discussed in this part. Then on the third we will be talking about male infertility. What is infertility? Uh, what percentage of males are usually infertile and if we talk about couples uh, in uh, usually in what which uh, percentage of couples both male and female is infertile all of these uh, important statistics will be discussed. Then causes of infertility. All the important causes, the environmental causes, genetic causes, so many pathological causes that are present exogenously or endogenously, all of them will be discussed in this portion that is of the male infertility. Then we will be talking about epididymitis. From here on, we will talk about the infections and tumors. So the first infection that we will talk about is the epididymitis. Which area of the testes uh, in, uh, involvement is known as epididymitis? What are the major organisms that will lead to epididymitis? And how it affects the seminiferous tubules, whether it has some effect on them or not? All of these aspects and what are the outcomes of these infections will be discussed in this part. Then. We will be talking about orchitis, which uh, part of the reproductive system of the male is infected and is known as orchitis, what is the treatment options we have and what is the presentation and what are the causes, all of these will be discussed in this part. And then we will be talking about the tumors of the testes. This is the final topic that we will be talking about. We will talk about the tumors of intestines uh, in so much detail, uh, starting with the uh, classification of tumors, then moving towards their presentation, their stains, how they look like grossly and what are their prevalences, which one is more common, which one is rare, which age group is most commonly affected by which cancer. All of these will be discussed in this portion of the lecture. So this was all from the introduction and we have so much more content on our website that you can visit that is the scardia.com. Thanks for watching scardia.com.